All right, looks like we're live. Um, we'll see if anyone joins us. If so, welcome back from last week. Had a lot of fun with Leaving Earth. And tonight we're going to play Gloomhaven. Uh, this is a, a great dungeon crawl game, a great uh, storyline campaign style game. A little bit of legacy elements to it. Uh, I've been playing this game with my two teenage boys. Uh, sadly, one of them has grown up and moved out of the house now and uh, is away for a while. And my other last remaining son is busy with theater, choir, and school and decided Gloomhaven isn't his favorite game anymore, although we did have an epic session of Leaving Earth together all yesterday afternoon. Had a lot of fun there. But uh, Gloomhaven is uh, going to be just me, and that's this is one of the main reasons I'm doing the stream, is to give me a good excuse to play through the campaign, play through Gloomhaven. I'm not going to teach how to play, although you'll probably pick it up as, as I go through. Um, we're dropping in the middle of one of the side quests, so to speak, a, uh, a side campaign. The main campaign has about a hundred scenarios in the main box. And right now we're in the middle of a community-driven campaign. This was one of the uh, stretch goals during a Kickstarter a while back. Isaac Childress, the designer of the game, did a community-driven campaign where he'd put up a scenario, everyone would play it, vote on the outcome, and then he'd come back a few days later and write the next one. Um, there's another, there's one going on right now uh, called The Infinite Beyond. I played through the very first episode of that campaign at BGGCon last November. And we streamed that live at BGGCon, and that is continuing. It should be wrapping up very soon, if it hasn't already. We're going back in time a little bit now, back to the campaign called Capital Intrigue. And uh, we're halfway through that. I'm playing with uh, three characters here um, that uh, this is a, a group, myself and my two boys came up with. So we've got a human scoundrel here named uh, Jetic. Let me switch to my close-up camera here. Uh, human scoundrel Jetic. I don't know if... There, there we go. A little bit of focus on that. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. All right. Well, sorry about that. We're continuing with the technical difficulties here, or just learning the system, not really difficulties. Um, we have a Inox Brute. Um, and again, a shout out to my friend Sean Stoffer who painted these minis for me. Uh, my cameras are not auto-focusing very well. And then we have a Quattral Tinkerer named Furwick. Uh, the uh, the Anox Brute is Reginald, so that's our camp. That's our group here. That's going through the Capital Intrigue campaign. A little bit of backstory: We were uh, fighting in a festival and won that fight, and uh, our little team here. And then we went out and bought a uh, a dagger with our winnings, and it turns out the dagger was stolen, so we got thrown in jail. While in jail, uh, some bad people called the Sin Ra came in and tried to kill us, so we had to escape from jail. And um, we recently met up with the merchant who sold us this dagger and, and beset upon him to explain himself. And um, as we did, we uh, came across a city guard uh, trying to clear our name and we're now with that city guard here at headquarters, police headquarters, with the uh, with the merchant. Who I don't the merchant doesn't actually feature in the scenario. He's probably here on the board somewhere, 
but we're on the board. This D20 up here, let me switch back to the overhead, is Miles, the, the, uh, the city guard who uh, we're trying to explain ourselves to. Um, is here with us. We're going to start somewhere here on these starting spaces. And um, he is going to try and convince his fellow guards here that we know something of a conspiracy or we, there's a mystery to be solved. So this is a, a different kind of scenario. Rather than kill everyone, we're uh, going to try and keep Miles long, alive long enough to... Uh, convince his co-workers, uh, fellow soldiers, fellow policemen, that uh, something needs to be investigated. So, uh, peer pressure. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and read the start here. Um, so we just met up with the city guard and, and he agreed to take us back to meet with his captain. This is a bad idea, Kajin says as you drag him toward the barracks. Guards in this city are not to be trusted. That's the merchant who we're uh, taking along with us. Just shut your mouth, Miles yells over his shoulder as he leads you through the busy streets. I'm thinking as long as we stay out in the open, these Sin Ra people won't attack. That's the bad guys that are after us. Sounds like they're trying to cover their tracks, and all these people would be a lot of tracks to cover. It wouldn't be the first time, you think, but that business with the snakes was in a much less populated area. You were hoping Miles might be right. But then, Arrow flies down from the rooftops into the back of Kajin. Ugh! He screams, dropping to the dirt. You grab him and help to keep him moving, but the wound doesn't look good. Scanning the tops of the buildings, you have no idea where the arrow came from, but there will probably be more. We need to press on, Miles says. The barracks aren't too much further. Take cover under the market stalls while we move. A few more arrows come, but they don't do any real damage. Minutes later, you burst into the barracks and slam the doors behind you. In the main room, you see a man in ornate armor surrounded by a contingent of guards. C Captain! Miles stutters. I didn't expect you would be here at this time of day. Well, I didn't want to be here, but I've received word you've fallen in with the wrong crowd, Miles, the captain says. You've broken the law helping these criminals. Now we have no choice but to throw you all in prison. Captain, that's ridiculous, Miles says. Something is going on, and I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it, doing the work the guards should be doing. The other guards begin to mutter and shift from foot to foot, but the captain holds up his hand. Enough, you have your orders. Get these men in shackles and bring them to the mouth. I have other business to attend to. The captain walks over to a side entrance, unshackles some guard dogs, and begins to exit. Do whatever it takes to subdue them. Do not fail me. Miles turns to you. I... I just need some time to convince them, he says. These are my friends, and I am sure they will listen to reason. Just keep them at bay while I try to convince them of the truth. He had better be fast. The guards seem to have their resolve now, and Kajin is slowly bleeding out on the floor. Okay, so as I said, this is Miles, the special rules. He has shield one. He is an ally to you and an enemy to all monsters. He has twice the standard hit points of a normal city guard and shield one, as I said. Uh, I've got the D20 set to 16, so that's his hit points. If he dies, the scenario has failed. Every round on initiative 49, Miles focuses on a city guard or city archer using the normal focusing rules and then performs a move three action. If he ends this movement adjacent to his focus, place a number token on the focus stat sleeve. While a monster has one or two of these tokens, it is considered to have stun, unable to perform abilities on its turn. When a third token is placed on a monster, it immediately switches from an enemy to an ally and no longer has stun. Ally city guards and archers are still considered allies of the enemy city guards and archers, but they are enemies to the hounds. 
Uh, so we need to get Miles to convert the guards, uh, keep him alive long enough to do it. And then there's more here. I'm not going to read that, but it talks about we're going to get new hounds. We've got hounds here uh, and then up here in the corner. Um, and we're going to have to fight them no matter what. The guards, we don't necessarily want to fight. We want Miles to convert them. All right, I've gone through the deck. Uh, I've set my starting cards here. I need to create battle goals for the characters. So let's shuffle these up a little bit. All right, we've got a couple of viewers. Welcome. Um, let me, uh, I am watching the chat a little bit every now and then. Let me know if you can hear me all right. Let me know if you have any questions as we go through. I'll try and interact with that a little bit. All right, two battle goals each. And so our scoundrel, use your equipment. A lot of character allies become exhausted. Hmm. Well, he's got a lot of equipment. So I'm going to set him to be a professional. Use all of your equipment as you go through. All right. The Brute, Reginald. Hunter, kill one or more elite monsters during the scenario. That's certainly going to happen with those elite hounds out there. Streamliner, have five or more cards in your hand and discard at the end of the scenario. Let's go with Hunter. Kill an elite. Okay. And Ferwick, our Quattro Tinkerer. Fast healer. Hit point value must be equal to your maximum at the end or... Kill an undamaged monster with a single attack. Hmm. I don't know if either of those are very likely. Um, heal up at the end. He does have a lot of healing. Or one shot a monster. That An archer would be six with shield one. But we don't want to kill a whole lot of things other than the hounds. The hounds is eight. Hmm, well, his crank bow can deal six damage. Let's go with the healer, since he's kind of the support character, and we'll see if that was a mistake. All right. Okay, well, let's, um, let's get started here. How do I want to position... Um, Miles is going to go talk to that guard up there for sure. Kind of want to take care of the hounds. Um, where are my archers? Okay, I've tilted everybody down so that you can see them a little bit better. Um, that's a guard. Archers up top. And mostly guards, archers in the back down here in the bottom. There is a chest down here that might be worth getting. <sighs> well, I'm not the greatest Gloomhaven player. I'm just going to go into this and uh, we'll see how it goes. I do have a hard stop tonight in uh, two and a half hours. Uh, I've got a conference call for BGG events at 9 p.m. So... This will not run as long as our test did last week with, uh, with Leaving Earth. Um, one way or another, we should be done here in a couple hours. All right, well... I think that's actually a pretty good position there, because hopefully Miles will be able to stun that guard pretty quick. And, um, oh, but those hounds up there are gonna start coming down and around. Let's, let's put the brute up near Miles to take, to be, 
take care of the hounds up there and my ranged guys take care of this hound down here all right Okay, so we need something from the Tinkerer to uh, deal some pretty good damage. He's actually mostly heal and whatnot. Um, let's have him poison that hound so that then the uh, scoundrel can come in and deal some extra damage. Um, at range. So we're going to do a toxic bolt and then he doesn't really need to move. Um, uh, let's see, recovering cards, recovering lost cards, uh, three Nobody to heal yet. Um, if he's going early, let's just shield everybody up. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, actually, we'll move after we deal with that hound to get up closer to the other hounds here. Um, so we'll move three after that. Okay, that's the Tinkerer. Uh, all right, the Brute. Um, need to get him going. Let's, oh boy, let's get him up and just, we can right off the bat deal some big damage down to the Hound. Now he's got Retaliate 2 but we could almost auto kill here if we what's our biggest move move six because if the quattro gets next to him we can actually recover a lost card um so we'll balanced measure with a move six and probably using our boots to move eight which means we can then attack eight and hopefully that will kill the elite hound and not have any problems there. All right, uh, the scoundrel is going to go after 18 so that we've got this elite hound down here poisoned. And we need a big, he doesn't have a big ranged attack, does he? Um, all right. Although he does, well, he doesn't shield. He's got a nice attack when the uh, when the target has shield. Um, let's see. I don't necessarily want to again. I guess we're just going to attack at range. And then for a bottom action, um, oh, he could pull at range three. If he goes late, he could pull one of these guards in closer to miles, which might actually be worth doing. Um, he has a hard time going late, and it'd have to be after the guards move, which that's no guarantee. Um, uh, or just have no damage this round. Sorry, everyone. It's been a long time since I've played. I'm having to review the cards here quite a bit. So... Um, Add wound and gain one on the target. I want to save that to when we have a target to add wound to. Um, 
and six and three and two to all your Texas round. Okay, we'll do this because he will add two to his attack since the enemy is adjacent to none of their own allies. There we go. And he'll go on 36. So we'll put that one on top. And we'll put... Um, the dogs are probably pretty fast. Hmm. Let's hope they're not that fast though. 36 or 16, but if he goes at 16, then that's after the poison, so the poison would be wasted. All right. Um, we'll risk it. Okay, so Tinker's going on 18. Um, And the Brute is going on 35. Okay, so the Archers. Uh, I believe I shuffled these decks already. So let's see. Archers moving on 68. Guard on 55. Hound, 26. All right. Oh, and the Hounds move a lot. So our Scoundrel is... Gonna be in some trouble. Okay, going first is the uh, Tinkerer at 18. So he is um, uh, attack two, range three with poison on the uh, range one, two, three. So we're good on the elite hound, attack two, and misses. Ouch, misses completely. However, the poison does still get applied. So that is hound number four. So he is poisoned, but uh, missed. Unfortunate. Okay. And then move three. Um, let's go. One, two, three, just to help uh, focus up there. Um, all right. Next, let's see, 35, 36. Next is 26, the hounds. Move plus zero, attack plus zero. All right, so the elite hound, four, elite hound, six. So Elite Hound 4 is going to go first, and it moves 5. Its closest enemy here is the Scoundrel. And attack 4. All right. So here's our enemies up here. Attack 4 plus 1 is 5. Attack 5 on the Scoundrel. Ouch. That's a big hurt. All right, so he's down to six health. All right, this may be over really quickly. Um, Elite here is going to come in. Oh, shoot. He's going to keep, well, no. Miles can get around the long way. So he's going to come through his ally, one, two, three, to get to Miles. And uh, attacking yeah. Miles for four. Plus one is five. So Miles from 16 down to 11. All right, and then the regular Hound moves four. And looks like closest enemy to get to would be here which he can. One, two, three, four. And attacks the quattrel for two. Times two is four on the quattrel. Well, that was a big hurt. Don't let the hounds go first. All right. 
Um, all right, so next is 35, our brute. Okay, well, he's going to come over to this poisoned elite here. Um, the long way around. There's no attack of opportunity in this game at all, so he can do anything. So he's going to move six, which gives him an XP. And um, so you can't see the cards I'm playing with. It's probably hard to read from up there anyway. So I'm just going to narrate as we go and move things around on the board. We'll see if that's interesting to anyone or not. Um, he's moving six with his boots. Uh, so that adds two more. He's moving eight. Um, and we're also going to get our hide armor up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here, and deal damage onto our hound. Attack eight, because it's balanced measure, that's the amount of damage he dealt, and that card does not go lost. Or that he attacks where X, where X is the number of hexes you have moved so far this turn. So attack eight on a poisoned hound. Plus one is nine, and plus one for the uh, poison is ten. So the hound is dead and does not retaliate, even though he has retaliate too. Since he's dead, he does not retaliate. And we drop a coin. All right. And the, uh, the Brute is a hunter. He killed one or more elite monsters during the scenario, so that is done. We don't have to remember that anymore. Good job. All right. That card goes to the discard pile. Okay. Um, then let's go to uh, 3536. Um, so the other reason to kill that was to... Uh, so our um, scoundrel here can attack at range. Um, attacking someone uh, that is adjacent to none of their allies, which this regular hound is adjacent to none of its allies. Range four, one, two, three, it's in range. So attack five, because it's plus two, thanks to duelist advanced. Attack five. And he misses. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's horrible. Two misses in the same turn, but both of those cards just get discarded. All right, that is truly unfortunate. All right. Uh, next would be initiative 49. So, Miles is going to move three to, to get to the nearest guard or archer. He's going to ignore the hound. He can't go through that obstacle. There are enemies. He can't go through them, so he can't get around to the other side of the guard, which is unfortunate. But we will go one, two. And then he will try to convert this city guard number six. So city guard number six is currently stunned. Okay. Um, that was initiative 49. We go to 55, which is the guards. The guards are going to move minus one, attack zero, strengthen self. All right, so they will be strengthened until the end of their next turn. Um, which gives them advantage. All right. Um, so let me just 
put a strengthen up here on the guard to remember that. All guards. Okay, elite guard is right here. That's our only elite guard. So he's going to move one. Um, closest attack is probably over here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to move one this way. Um, and he does not attack at range, so that's it. Uh, regular guards in initiative order. Three goes next. Move one forward. Four. Move one closer to our brute over here. And then six is stunned. So he doesn't do anything. The archers. The archers go. They do not move which is actually a good thing because I think, well, let's see who's in range. Our brute might be in range. Um, okay, because they're at range plus one. So starting with the elite here, his range is five plus one is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, uh, he's right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cannot reach. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Does not reach anyone. Okay. Uh, regular archers. So uh, number one is up here. He can get either Miles or our Tinker, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're at equal range. The Tinkerer went first, so he's going to shoot at the Tinkerer. Oh, I'm sorry. Back up. Elites have range 6. Regulars only have range 5 because of the plus 1, so we're okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. All right, so archer number 1 is done. Archer number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can't reach anyone. Archer number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 can reach the brute and there is line of sight from there to there so five shooting the brute and attacking four because it is attack plus one as well so attack four on the brute plus one is five on the brute um, but we got our shield up so shield one so it's back down to attack four and we consume part of our shield Attack four, brute is at ten. Okay, that is the end of the round. Let's reshuffle the decks that need reshuffling, which is actually quite a few of them. Okay, and while I'm doing that, someone has reminded me that I have the wrong title up here. I better fix this. Oh. All right, update information. Well, we'll see if that does anything. Okay, shuffle that miss back out of the scoundrel's deck. Shuffle the miss back into the Tinkerer's deck. Two misses in our very first turn, guys. Not, not a, an auspicious beginning. Um, but the uh, the brute did something. Killed a killed a hound. All right. 
That's good. And then we need to shuffle the archers. Okay. Looks like Aldi has put us on the uh, front page of Board Game Geek because our viewer count is increasing rapidly. So welcome everyone to Jeff's Solo Adventures. We're playing Gloomhaven tonight. We're playing the Capital Intrigue Scenario Number 6, Community Driven Campaign, Peer Pressure. We're trying to convert these guards over to our side to keep them from killing us. All right. So new round, round two. We don't have new doggies showing up yet, but we certainly have quite a few to deal with. Okay, Miles is not going anywhere. He's going to keep talking to that guard over there, and that dog is going to keep pounding on him. So that's not a good thing. Um... These other dogs have not taken any damage. The one that was poisoned is dead, so I can take that off. All right. I think it's another card that goes lost for our brute here, but I think he just needs to go over and kill that regular. Um, oh, I didn't use it, did I? There we go. Kill one adjacent normal enemy. So he needs to get to the normal dog and kill it, which means he needs to move three fairly quickly. One, two, three. And he doesn't have a quick move three. Oh. Move three, push, or move four, late. Move four with jump. Um, and a basic regular move two is not enough because we already used our boots. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Well, let's, we're not going to be looting later, so we'll just move forward. We'll go late and hope the Quattro's okay. All right. Quattro and Tinkerer and Scoundrel, I need to get these names memorized. My character to begin with was Reginald the Brute, so I know him the best. Um, Fenwick, or Furwick, I need to read my son's handwriting here. Looks like it's Furwick. Furwick the Tinkerer, and Jedic the Scoundrel. All right. Set that there to help remind me. All right. Furwick, the Tinkerer, needs to take care of the Elite as well as um, our Scoundrel. Okay. Let's set up a big double attack on the Scoundrel. We don't need this anymore. This is just where um, Miles was starting. And we also don't need these anymore. These were just our available starting locations. Okay, I'm not that concerned about the coin. I've got far too much to deal with right now. All right, um, let's double up over here to take care of that elite. So I need, that hound doesn't have any shield. Okay, and that guard is stunned, which is a good thing. I'm going to have more hounds showing up up here on the top of the board. So I kind of need to move that direction anyway. I need to get this guard converted to our side so he can help fight with it. Um, all right. Okay. I need to go invisible, recover up to two of your discarded cards. I don't really want to... Attack at range, if I can just deal all the damage. Attack three, gain two attack when it is adjacent to any realize. Add two when it's adjacent to none of its own. Hmm. If I could pull that hound. There we go. Pull two, range three. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. 
Okay, so he can pull this hound two spaces at range three, which puts him adjacent to none of his own and next to one of my own allies, which is going to be an attack seven. All right, that is nice, and he can do that very, very early. Um, and then so the tinkerer is going to pile on as needed um, or possibly heal. Actually, we, we do need to start healing a little bit. Um, let's see. Uh, recover a lost card. It's early for that. Recover all their discarded. Um, we're going to do that probably later once the scoundrel, once uh, Red Jeddak has used up all of his stuff. Um, Hack one, range three, stun. One, two, three. No one's in range of stun just yet that I want. Um, two targets, flamethrower's not set up. It goes lost. Let's do a regular heal. Um, actually, no, he can heal all adjacent allies. So we'll do that on the bottom and then on the top if he moves to one two um, he can stun that guard there which should be good okay all right he's going to well, he can't really go very late. No. We're going to do... We're going to do this heal instead. Heal 4, range 3. Heal all adjacent. 1, 2, but the, there's going to be an enemy right there unless the scoundrel takes him down. I'm remembering now we need the quattro to, to finish off the killing blow. So he needs some kind of a, an attack. All of his t attacks are at range, and we actually don't want to attack at range. Oh, the flamethrower, but that goes lost. Don't want to do that. Um... Just a regular attack two. Oh, is there any way he can go before 12? No, he can't. Um, okay. So let's do a basic attack. What basic attack am I not going to need? Um... Probably, at least I'm not going to need it right now. This uh, flamethrower, I'll use it later. Okay, so I'm going to use that for a basic attack at 17. 40 and 6. All right, we're ready for round two. Archers. 187 viewers, welcome everyone. Welcome to Jeff Solo Adventures Gloomhaven. Archers on 32. Guards on 70, Hounds on 26 again. Looks like that's the same card. That's kind of, I'm guessing that's their default card. Hopefully we will take care of these Hounds. Actually that regular is going to have some business, but uh, let's first at 6, Jeddak, the Scoundrel, pull 2 at range 3. One, two, and now attack with a backstab. Um, let's see, do I want to use, um, I don't want to use any of my items just yet. Um, well, if I, 
if I use the Jagged Sword, I can add Wound, which will uh, kill the Hound if he has one damage left on him. Um, yeah, let me see. At the end of round six, Elite Uneven Rounds for three characters. Okay, so the Hounds that start showing up at B are going to alternate um, Normal and Elite. Um, we'll, uh, and the only real difference between the Normal and Elite is how fast they move, what damage they deal, and they retaliate. Their health is the same. Okay, uh, let's put, let's use the Jagged Sword. I need to use my items anyway, so we're going to use the Jagged Sword and deal three damage, or uh, add wound to this backstab. But first let's deal the damage. So it's attack seven and I get two XP. Mark XP. Attack seven plus zero is seven. But he is wounded, and that is elite number six, seven damage, and he has retaliate two, Oof. which means he's going to hurt my scoundrel here, two damage, all right. It goes straight through, so he needs some healing. All right, that goes lost, and that is just discarded. Okay, um, next is 17, the um, Furwick's turn, Quadril, and he's doing a basic attack two to try and finish off this hound. So basic attack two plus zero is still uh, attack two, which is enough to finish off the hound. The elite hound is dead. Um, coin. Let's see. It was not a one-shot. We did not take the one-shot card anyway. So, uh, we're doing, and we did not take the retaliate damage because the, he is dead. Now, move two, heal one, affect all adjacent allies. Let's move two and heal one, um, affect all adjacent allies, which unfortunately I don't think includes himself. It did not say self and all adjacent allies, so it's only all adjacent allies. But it is heal one to both Reginald and Jedic. All right, and that is discarded. Okay, next we have 26, so the Hound. There's one Hound left, and he can move here at 2... There at three, so he moves one, two, and he is attacking. Um, who went first? The scoundrel went first. So attack zero, so he's a regular attack two. Now would be a great time for a miss. Minus one. Two minus one is just one. So back down to four, but uh, could be a lot worse. All right, and that is the only hound on the board currently. So next we go to the archers. Move plus zero, so they are moving this turn. Attack plus one, but range minus one. So elite archer moves first, and he moves one space. Um, this is the only space that gets him closer to enemies, but his range is now four, and there are no enemies within range four. The regular archers, let's see, if he moves here, he does have closer to Reginald. But he's still out of range, because he only has range three this turn. Um, and then 
This archer is next. Move one to get closer out of range. Move one to get closer range is one, two, three. No one is in range. All right, so uh, that's a small mercy. All right, uh, Reginald goes next and just adds a token to our city guard that is still stunned. Finally, the city guards move. They move minus one, attack plus one. Um, I have an elite guard right here, so he moves at uh, one. Two minus one is one. Um, so to get, uh, I can't remember. See, he only moves one. He does have, he wants to get to this space. One, two, three, four. Moving here does not get him any closer to that space, though. So he's not going to move. Um, okay, regulars also only move one this turn because they're moving minus one. Um, in initiative order, four and three. So three moves one and four moves one. All right, that's all of the guards. That is the end of round two. Shuffle any deck that needs to be shuffled, which is... Oh, well now, hold up. I forgot our brute, Reginald. Reginald did not get his turn. I don't think any of this matters, though. He was coming over to kill the doggy, the hound, which went before him anyway. To do that, he needs to move four. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. So if we move one, two, three, four to get ready for those extra dogs that are come out, that still did not put him in range of any of the uh, archers or anything. And it would not have affected how these guards moved either. Okay, so move four and then auto kill one adjacent normal enemy. And two XP. Okay, so we're at four, and this doggy is dead. And there's another coin in the space. Okay. Now, um, no cards need to be shuffled. Uh, end of round two doesn't trigger anything. We go to the start of round three. All right, we need a plan. Reginald is going to convert this guard this turn to help deal with the dogs. And then, let's see, who's... That archer's not going to keep coming any closer. This guard is going to keep coming closer. So Reginald might go meet up with him. Um, Reginald doesn't have any uh, extra movement. And unfortunately, I don't have any cards that can allow an ally to move. Uh, so I can't push Reginald. I'm sorry, not Reginald. Miles. I keep saying Reginald. It's Miles is the... Miles is our... Uh, spokesman right now. Miles can't move any extra. But he's in out of he's out of position for this guard. So after he converts this guy, once he let's see, uh, one or two is stunned. When a third one is placed on it, he becomes an ally. And then Renard, when then Miles will focus on someone else, not a doggy. He's probably going to focus on these archers up here, unless this guard moves closer here. One, two, three. I think I want to... I kind of want to head up and take care of these archers. I don't think Reg, uh, Miles is going to be able to convert everybody. I'm going to have to kill some of these, or disable uh, some of these enemies here and I probably want to rush the archers 
because then that will continue to pull these guys up and uh, give Miles a chance to pick them off one by one, at least a little bit. So I want to move this way, take care of the hounds that are going to show up, and then let Miles come down this way. We'll see how that plays out. All right. Um, okay. I kind of want to let... Um, I want to get backstab back because that's going to be real powerful on these hounds that come out. So while we're adjacent, I'm going to have my tinkerer. Oh, that can be within range three. He doesn't even have to be adjacent. Adjacent to recover all the discarded cards. Uh, one ally within range three can recover one of their lost cards. All right. Um... My so Jedic the scoundrel does not have any ranged attacks, but he can move with jump if needed. Um, that guard is going to be an ally on 47, he might be an ally this turn. No new hounds show up this turn, that one will show up the end of this round. All right. You know what, I might just have to take care of this guard right here. Um, do, 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 do. Um, the other option is... All right. Um, who is the big guy going to attack? One, two, three, four to get to that archer. One, two, three, four, five to get to that guard. Let's take down this guard right here so that Miles goes after the archers. Um, if we get those archers on our side, they'll help take care of the hounds as well. Um, so, big guy, move one, two. Uh, move to attack two, that's nice. And then, you, and then plus to all your attacks this turn? Sure, why not? Don't overthink it. 20. Okay, um, scoundrel, one, two, or more. So, um, the guard has shield. I want to use that on the elite guard, though. Um, attack four when it's adjacent to one of your allies. So, go after 20. For your moving, um, move three and force an adjacent enemy to move one. That's how I can bring him around. Then he goes super late. And I can put him on the other side over here, and then Miles can get to him next turn. Yes. Oh, move one. I can only move in one space. So, all right. Well, I may or may not do that, but he only needs to move three. And then Tinkerer, we need to do some more healing. Uh, let's heal four. Because the Scoundrel definitely needs some healing. Um... Cover all of their discarded cards. Um, I need a bottom action. Heal five at range two. That's a huge heal. But I can use it. Scoundrel. His max is 11. So... Um,
Yeah, you could use a heel seven. But that goes lost. Do I care? No, nope, we'll do it. We're in, this is a healing turn. All right, and he's going to go at 34. He's going to go at 93 so that we add wound to the uh, city guard here because he's got shield, and so wounding will, will help with a lot of that. Well. You know what, I'm wondering. I need to pierce, because he has shield one. Uh, let's see. They no longer are strengthened, because they got that first turn, and at the end of the turn, strengthen goes away. They never attacked anybody, so it doesn't matter. All right. No, don't rethink it. Just stick with it. Um... Okay, uh, so I've set my initiative for everybody. Archers are going on 29, guards on 50, and there are no hounds, so I don't draw an initiative for that. Okay, um, going first is, looks like 20. Uh, all right, Reginald, move two. Add one to all your attacks this round. Attack so, so we're attacking three. Attack three plus zero is three damage, but the city guard has shield one, so it's only attack two. And that is guard number four. All right, that was 20. Next for me is 34. Archers are at 29. So archers, move plus zero, attack minus one, range plus one, immobilize. All right. Who are they going to immobilize? So the elite goes first. He will move two. And his closest is here. And to get within range, he has range five. One, two, three, four, five. He has to move one to get within range of Reginald. Uh, no, range plus one. He doesn't move at all because his range is six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So attack minus one, but with immobilize. So Reginald will be immobilized. Need to remember that. Um, Reginald took his turn to get these cards out of the way. So Reginald is immobilized. Um, attack minus one. So attack... Ooh, attack three. Minus one is two. He's still got shield one, so that comes off. And it is only one damage. Ten. Uh, and that is tapped. Okay. Uh, right, um, that was the elite regular archer number one has range attack, range plus one, so range five, one, two, three, four, five, Miles is immobilized. That's okay, he wasn't moving this turn anyway. Um, and attack two. Attack two, misses. He misses, which means he deals no damage, but the immobilize effect does still apply. All right. Uh, Archer number four needs to get within range five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. He moves, regular moves two, so one, two, and is now in range. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So he also immobilizes Reginald. Attack, minus one, so at attack two. Two X for attack four. And Reginald is down to six. I need to remember on my next turn for Reginald to have him drink his healing potion. He's gonna get some healing 
but he also needs his potion too. All right, that was four. Five is already in range. One, two, three, four. Um, again, attacking Reginald. He, uh, even if it were a tie, he went earliest in turn order. So attack two. Plus one is three. Oh boy, that's he's down to three. I don't really want to lose any of these cards yet, so hopefully healing up will be enough. And of course he is the tank. He is supposed to suck up all of this damage. That's why he's here. Okay, um, that is all of the archers. Next is Miles. He converts guard number six, who is now immediately on our side. He will not attack the other guards and archers, but he will hunt the hounds. Um, end of Miles' turn, he loses his Immobilize. That was actually good timing, so the next turn he can go after somebody else. Um, but Miles is done. Now we go to the guards. Elite guard, move plus zero, attack plus zero. So he's going to move two. Uh, that's the closest spot he can attack someone, so 1-2 has no attack to deal. And then um, next guards in initiative order, so guard 6 is our friend. Guard 3 can move 2, 1, 2, oh boy, this is starting to hurt, and attack 3. Oh, back up, back up, back up. The tinkerer was supposed to go. So let's, um, one, two, one, two. Guards have not gone yet. I did skip ahead with Miles. It wouldn't matter for the tinkerer, though. Tinkerer was supposed to go right after the archer. We're going to need this healing. All right, looking at this situation, the brute is down 11. I can heal the brute completely um, and then the scoundrel is in a world of hurt or do I split the healing if I heal five on the brute on Reginald's he goes back up to eight drinks his potion for 11 we'll do that so heal five range two card goes lost two XP so Reginald gets five and then Looking at, no, wrong five, not five XP, five health, goes back up to eight. Looking at the situation here, the guards are about to go, and they're about to hurt Reginald even more, so I am going to give him the other four health as well. And uh, Jedic, you'll just have to suck it up. All right. Because the guards now go um, elite one two regular number three one two attack for three minus two is only one thank goodness down to eleven uh, four is already right here attack two plus zero is attack is just two back down to nine and then six currently has no enemies to focus on because he will not attack the other guards and archers. All right, so that is all of the guards. That is the round. End of round three. One hound spawns a bee. It is normal for two characters. It is normal on odd rounds and elite on even for three characters. We have three characters. So this is an odd round. It is normal. Normal uh, hound. Okay. All right, taking a quick peek at the chat. 192 viewers. Hello, everyone. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions. We're playing Gloomhaven tonight on Jeff's solo adventures. Let me know if... Um, if you can see all right, let me know if you can hear okay, if the sound's coming through all right. Um, let me change cameras really quick. Let me see what this view looks like. Um, 
I'm going to leave it on here for a turn or two. There is some glare. Unfortunately, I can't fix the glare on uh, some of these cards. But uh, let me know if you like this view any better. And I'll leave it here for just a little bit. All right. Oh, it's not the end of the round. Oh, the uh, scoundrel needs to take his turn. Okay, so that, that hound's not up there yet. Um, he's going at 93, because I wanted him to wait so that the attack was adjacent to any of your allies. All right. So he can move three, and he can come here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three four, five. So um, Miles is going to head up to that archer up there. Um, we'll go here. Move three. Force one adjacent to four. Move one. Controlling the action ending in a adjacent to you. So let's just um, move him over here. Maybe take some of the heat off of Reginald. And then attack four, add wound. And gain one when the target is adjacent to any of your allies. So he is adjacent to... Oh, no, he's not. So I'm not moving him. Leaving him where he is so that he's adjacent. All right, add one, add wound, so attack four, um, adding wound if we don't kill him outright. Um, okay, attack four, plus one is five. He has shield one, so it's four damage um, on number four. There was two already there, so I'm going to make change. Now he has six. Uh, which is not enough to kill him. However, it is important to note that the wound will kill him. Okay. We don't want Miles converting this guy. We want him going up to the archers. Because this guy's going to die on his own in two turns. We can kind of ignore him, except we probably shouldn't. Okay. That was Jedic. Now it's the end of the round, we spawned, we move round four. All right, we got some guards to deal with here, and we're going to get more guards going. I wonder if we should run away and just get up closer to the hounds and deal with the hounds. Um... Depends on if the guards go before or after Miles. Uh, we do need to shuffle a couple of decks. So thinking out loud, I don't want these guards to be pulled any closer to Miles so that he goes after the archers. But there's that hound up there to deal with. All right. Well, we either need to kill or convert everybody. So maybe we just kill everybody down here and let Miles convert the guys up there. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's going to get pretty brutal if these all these guys just keep attacking. Those archers are bad. Um, be really nice if we could get that archer close enough that Miles would actually stun him this turn. If it takes two turns to get to him, that's going to be a problem. If I get around there with a push, 
I don't have a push. He's got a push. Move three. Move three is not enough. You know what? This is a perfect time to set up retaliate. Because I'm not moving anyway. I'm going to use my bottom attack too. Because he's immobilized at the end of his next turn. Um, he's probably going to retaliate a bunch, and retaliating will kill one of those guys. All right. Um, kind of want to deal three damage to the other guy. I wonder who's going to do better in a fight between an archer and a hound. Or a uh, guard and a hound. Looks like it probably goes to the guard. Um, so we'll let him deal with those hounds. Um, okay, so let's focus on this one up here. He can attack too with his battle axe, actually, which is nice. Um, he can go invisible and recover discarded cards. He's already lost two. Um, ink bomb attack for range three. I think ink. This is a good time for the ink bomb. And then for bottom, um. Recover all. One, two, three, four, five. They'll be discarded. Yeah. Two cards to go lost. Recover all. So I just need to go. Which he's clearly going later. No matter what, he's going to go before the uh, before Furwick. All right. So the Tinker is going to allow the Scoundrel to recover all their discarded cards. The scoundrel will have a whole bunch over there. Um, okay, and going on 18 and 37. And then our scoundrel is going to um, he could go after the elite. Well, that would go lost. Um, I think we'll do a flanking strike and suffer no damage just in case. Okay, on four. All right, um, round four. We do have a hound, so archer's going on 68. We've seen that card before, not moving, unfortunately. Guard on 50, that's okay. And Hound on 83. Wow, they're going late. They're very slow, but they are heavy attack. Okay, 226 viewers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jeff's solo adventures. We're playing Gloomhaven tonight. Peer Pressure, episode six of the Capital Intrigue community-driven campaign. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the chat. Uh, let me know if you're hearing me okay or if you're seeing things all right. Let's switch back to the big, the overhead camera and uh, see, see what that looks like. We did a round with the side camera, a round with the overhead. Let me know what you like better. 
All right. Um, going first is our scoundrel. Um, he's going to suffer no damage for the end of this round. And then he's going to attack three and attack five and one XP because the target is adjacent to one of my allies. So, um, on number four, attack five plus zero is five, which is enough to kill him. And so the wound didn't matter. He's just gone. All right. And drop a coin. Okay. That was the scoundrel's turn. Next is 18. He's setting up his retaliate two, and then he's going to attack two um, on this city guard here. Uh, he's going to heal three self, and that goes lost. So heal three. Uh, not going to use the battle axe yet because there's nobody right there, but just attack two on the bottom. So attack two plus three. That is a perfect time for that card. Awesome. So that is number three. Takes five, except he has shield one, so he takes four damage. Number three takes four damage. All right. Um, no longer immobilized, and neither of these go lost. They are discarded. All right, next is 37. It is 37. Okay, one adjacent ally may recover all of their discarded cards. So our scoundrel gets all of his cards back, which is nice. Very nice. By the way, I will mention, um, you probably, you haven't seen this yet, but to help organize, I have um, card holders here um, that we sell in the BGG component trays and card trays. Let me bring this out here really quick. This is helping me organize everything. So if you can see that, I've got my tokens down the bottom and I've got all my cards up here visible for me to pull from. I've got all three of these here across the edge of the, uh, the display here. Actually, I can do this and you can see it really quick. You can see I've got all three here on the edge and uh, they are helping me organize everything. We sell these in the BGG store. Quick little plug uh, for, for our sponsors. <laughs> I'm actually not officially sponsored by BGG yet, <laughs> Aldi, if you're watching or listening. But uh, my wife runs the BGG store. I run the BGG events with help from a lot of awesome people. And uh, so uh, buy these card holders. They are awesome. Okay, uh, so we recovered all of our discarded cards. That card goes lost. And we were going to ink bomb. And I guess we're going to ink bomb. We actually create night. This is our first uh, mana token of the evening. Um, create night, attack four, range three. So range one, two, three. I can make that my four and attack these two together. Um, Gain one experience for each enemy targeted, so that's two enemies. So gain two XP. Oh, that's not... Hold up. Hmm. That's not the pattern I thought it was. I thought it was a four square. It's only a three. Oh, do I still want to do that? Well, if I don't, I do nothing else. Well, it definitely takes one of the enemies out. So take back one XP. All right, I can attack the elite. I can attack the regular. Um, 
It's attack four. There's four damage on that guy. He has shield one. I might take him out. Or, well, the elite's got shield two. So yeah, we'll attack the, uh, the regular here. So at one, two, three, right there. Creating the knight. Um, attack four. Plus two is six. Minus one for the shield is still enough to kill our city guard here. Um, and that is right there. Okay, a little bit of breathing room. Reginald says thank you, because otherwise things were about to be very, very hurtful. Okay, um, that's all of me. It is uh, Miles' turn. He clearly, one tooth, he can get to that in four, and getting down here is a lot further. So Miles goes one, two, three. He only moves three, unfortunately. Really wish he could uh, get there, but he'll get there next turn. Because that, uh, that archer's not going to move, but he will take a shot. All right, um, guards turn. Elite moves first. Move plus zero, attack plus zero. So moving to, uh, he can attack to either of these. Um, he will go here because Jeddak went earlier in turn order. So attack four on Jeddak. However, if you remember, he's going to take no damage the first time he has attacked this turn, which is pretty awesome. But, because that would have been five damage, which would have killed him or I'd have to discard cards. But... Uh, suffer no damage instead. Awesome. I love it when a plan comes together. Um, name the TV show for any of you. All you youngsters in the chat probably won't recognize it. Um, okay. That is the elite guard. Regular guard. Uh, regular guard... We've actually killed all the regular guards. The only guards left is the elite and the regular that's on our side. So he's going to move two, one, two, and lock up this hound up here. Um, and attack that hound at three. So three on the hound. Minus one is only two. So two on, what, what is our hound number? That is hound number three. Okay. Two damage on hound number three, and hound does have retaliate one. So one damage back on our friend, which we're not happy about. That retaliate goes straight through the shield, unfortunately. But he's keeping the hound at bay away from Miles. That's all the guards. Um, archers. Okay, archer attack plus one range plus one. So that archer can get miles. He's already in range. Six, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So attack five. Oh, this is going to hurt. Now would be a great time for a miss. Attack five on miles plus zero. It's attack five. Miles is down to six. This is not good. This is really not good. Because he couldn't stun that guy. Who's now going to take a shot at him. Is he next? Four, five, one. Yes, so that archer shoots at Miles at attacking four. Minus one is only three. Miles is down to three health. We need to do something about that. All right. Archer number four has range five. One, two, three, four, five. So they can attack the scoundrel. Um, 
and our Trickster's Reversal, our, our uh, next time you take damage, is not uh, applicable anymore. So, uh, attack plus one, three plus one is four, minus one is three, which is good because he's down to one. I think he'll take that one and hopefully we'll get a miss on the next one. Five, one, two, three, four, within range. Give us a miss or we're discarding some cards. Minus one is still enough to kill him. So we need to uh, discard. It's one out of your hand or two out of your deck. And it's not discarded, it's actually lost. Um, what do we need to get rid of? All right. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We'll lose a flanking strike to ignore that damage. We need to get that guy stunned and run north, I think. It's not going well. All right, so that's the archers. And finally, the hound is going to attack our ally here. Does not move. Uh, attack plus one, so attack three plus zero. Three on our ally guard. Uh, who has shield one, so it's only two. Okay. That was a difficult round. Oh boy, things are not going well for the home team. All right. Um, okay, well, let's... Uh, end of round four means we get an elite hound. Um... Spawn means it spawns on the nearest, closest area. Just because that place is blocked, I don't think it means that uh, it doesn't happen. I'm pretty sure that's the case. And we will just... Yeah. Um... This is possibility spawning or the nearest empty hex to that location. Okay, so Elite spawns right here next to Miles. Not a good thing. Oh boy, I think I think this is gonna be over with Miles dead. Oh, we did not play this very well. That's all right. Um Let's see, can I get up to him and heal him in time? I don't really have much. Well, I do have a heal five range two, but it goes lost. I would have to book it to get up there. I can move four, one, two, three, four. All right, we can do that. All right, 16, let's go heal miles. Okay, um, attack three, push two, the elite city guard has not taken any damage yet, he has shield two, so I do want to pierce two, so those are our last two cards, we're going to use them as they stand. Um, oh, I kind of wish I had backstab back at this point. Um, but there is night out here. So we did the end of four. So now is a good time for a Sinister Opportunity. 
So that's going to attack five. And then on the bottom, it's not moving. Okay, attack 16. We're going to have to lose another card when he takes damage, but that works. All right, um, I don't think we have any reshuffle in here. The monster deck is good. We need to reshuffle the archer deck again. I don't think we've reshuffled either of the other decks yet. Or maybe the hounds once. Maybe not. All right. Hopefully these guys go late enough as the archers that we can stun the one of them. Of course, that other archer is going to keep shooting at Miles. Miles is going to be dead, and this is going to be over. Praying for a miracle here. Okay, archer. 31. He goes before Miles. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. We didn't get that stun. Oh, the Hound goes super early. And is going to immobilize. So he's... Oh, the Guard goes before Miles. So they're both, both Hounds are going to immobilize the Guard. That is one small saving grace. But this may be over anyway. All right, let's see what happens. Um, hounds go first. Elite Hound. Uh, is adjacent to two enemies. It's going to attack the one with the lower initiative, which is the guard. So the guard is immobilized. Guard number six is immobilized until the end of his turn. Um, and attack plus zero. So he's just attacking four. Ouch. Let's attack four. Minus two is two shield is another minus one, so it's only one. That was good. We did not want that guard to die. Um, regular Hound attacks the guard at two. Plus zero is two, minus one is one. So he is, let's see, he has eight health. One, two, three, four, five. He has five damage on him. But he is immobilized. Miles survives for the moment. All right, six. I've got 16 and 16. So the Tinkerer goes first. Oh, okay, move. One, two, three, four. Heal, range two, heal five, two XP. All right, that card goes lost. We're burning through our cards, Furwick. Or tinkerer, but we heal Miles back up to eight. He is halfway from full. All right. Okay, next, the other 16. So, um, gonna attack the elite, attack three. Um, we're consuming the knight so that it's two more. This is a sinister opportunity. We get one XP because he's adjacent to one of my allies. Um, so attack five, and then plus two attack to all of your attacks to surround target enemies adjacent to none of their allies. So that's attack seven. All right, give me something good. Attack seven plus zero is seven. Shield two is five. So five damage and retaliate one, which he cannot afford that retaliate one. Oh, lose a card just because of retaliate. I didn't think about that. Mm, well, I got to do it. He's got to stay alive for as long as possible. Oh, I was attacking the elite. Why didn't I do Trickster's Reversal? Oh, that was a mistake. 
That was a mistake. Oh well. Okay, we're going to set up for some big attacks here for the scoundrel, and then it's just going to be over. All right, um, we did get five damage on the big guy, though. So that's nice. Um, okay. That was those two. Okay, next is the archers, 31. Elite archer, move plus zero, attack plus zero. So he's attacking at range. Uh, oh, and we're drawing fire. One, two, three, four, five, range five. Good, he's not attacking um, miles. So uh, Furwick is drawing fire off of miles, which is not awesome because he's not super healthy either, but um, he does have a heal potion that we need to remember to use. We're, we're getting to the point where we got to use all that we can. Um, so Archer is, Elite Archer is attacking four. 2x is 8. I think we're going to say no to that one. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So that card is going lost. All right. Well, then the regular archer is closer to Miles, so he's going to attack Miles um, at 3. Plus one is four. Miles has to take it, so Miles is from eight down to four. And then Archer number four. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five is out of range. So he moves one step forward and is now in range of either attack the lower. Oh which means we're dropping more cards. Miss, miss, miss. I know there's a miss in here somewhere. It is not that. So dropping another card. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Again, attacking our scoundrel. This will be the miss, right? Attack for three. Plus one is four, another big one. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, not a good day for the home team. All right, good news is we're getting rid of all these big ones, and hopefully the guard's going to miss on, uh, on Reginald here. So the guard is attacking at range, so he's actually going to move, he's going to back up one, because he's attacking at range. Um, that, all right, that's not good. Um, Actually, no, this may work out okay. All right. Um, attack plus zero, range two, so his attack is four. Miss. Yes. Yes, 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 I called it. We got the miss. All right, very good. Um, and then this guard is going to back up one and attack at range. Um, he's going to attack three on, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, attack three on the dog that's already taken damage. I guess we won't kill him, but we'll at least get closer. Um, so on the regular, attack three. Plus two is five, and there was two there already, so he's at seven. 
One more and he's down. Okay. Did not take any retaliate. That is the guards at 35. The last thing to happen is Reginald moves three to get to this archer and stun him. That's archer number one. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, problem is he's next to that elite hound that's just gonna rip him to shreds. Okay, end of round five, so we need a regular hound. to spawn right here, protecting the one that had taken damage. That's unfortunate. It's not the end of the round because Reginald has his turn. He was going late. He was going after everybody. All right. Um, move three, push two, target one adjacent enemy. So one, two, three, push two. Get that guy further away but then attack the city guard with pierce two attack three pierce two all right um we need we need something good here we need a good thing to happen um or i could attack six let the card go lost That was here. Um, those would be, he has retaliate one. Four. One, two, three, four. Jump on the other side of this guy. One, two, three, four. You know what? I think that's better because I could maybe take out the shield and whatnot. Let both these cards go lost. It's coming down to it. Um, I don't have to kill all the hounds. That's important. Okay. Uh, I may still run out of time from that archer there. I'm gonna. This might be a huge mistake, but we're going to switch it up. We're going to move four, attack two all targeted enemies moved through jump one two three four so now i attack two on here um attack two plus zero is two shield two doesn't do anything the question is do i take the retaliate from that thematically i'm trampling him so i guess i'm going to say that i do so retaliate one but then attack two here on the city archer. Plus one is three. Attack three on city archer number four. And then, and that gives me two XP. And then I'm going to attack six, which also gives me two XP. Attack six. Both these cards go lost, but hopefully we'll take out this big city archer. Um, here. Plus two. That would have killed it all by himself. So, archer dead. And there's a coin here. All right. I have set up a big super attack for the scoundrel on our elite over here. All right, that guy is stunned. As long as we can keep Reginald alive. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, Tinkerer is short resting. And we're gonna lose this card here, which is fine. Furwick, the Tinkerer, short rested. Okay, Reginald, the Brute, is short resting. Or 
retaliate and heal, that's fine. Scoundrel still has two cards left. Hopefully we'll take down the elite over there. Brute's going to go take down the archer. Tinkerer is going to keep Reginald alive, hopefully. All right, so end of round. That was the end of round five. I already spawned the doggy up there because I've done elite, a regular elite regular. So now we go into round six. All right, uh, I need to reshuffle this deck up here because I got the miss and the 2x in that turn. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, boy, it's close. Kill three monsters and convert one more to keep Miles alive. I keep mixing up Miles and Reginald. Sorry about that. All right. Let's see how this goes. All right, stand by one. All right, let's see what the uh, side angle looks like here a little bit. I'm going to try the side camera here a little bit. Does that look better or worse? You guys like that better or you like the overhead view? Tell me if you like the side view or the overview better. I'll leave it here for just a minute or so. All right, um, okay, my last two cards on Scandrel. He's doing what he's doing. Um, Tinker, your main focus is keep Reginald, or sorry, Miles alive. We've got to heal four, heal four at range three, move two, heal one, all adjacent allies. So we can do that, heal a little more. Um, attack five, range two, attack six, range five. So yeah, we need to, uh, we need to also attack this other, this elite archer over here. Cause I don't think he's going to be able to do much. So we're going to go early to heal up miles again. Um, and then uh you're going to go do something to that guy all right you can swing big oh you're gonna go invisible you haven't gone invisible at all yet this whole game our scoundrel's never gone invisible, which is, I've just been misplaying this here. Um, move to attack to, attack to, retaliate to shelf, attack X, where X is the number of hexes you have moved so far this turn. Um, one, two, three, four, come around, and yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll do this. Um It's going to be late, but you've got some health. Okay. Archers, please go late. Please go late. 29 guard 30 and hound seven they are not attacking they're only muddling which 
I can live with. I can live with. All right. They actually go first. Move plus zero. They don't need to move at all. Well, the one in the back does need to move to get to an enemy. So, he, oh, which is a good thing. Draws him out so I can kill him. He moves out to get to an enemy to muddle. The enemy he's going to muddle is the guard because the guard goes before Miles. So guard six is muddled. Um, ooh. I think I cheated last turn. When did he get immobilized? Who immobilized him? That was the hounds that went first. So he moved back to take a shot. And that should have been at disadvantage. So I cheated. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to lose anyway. Uh, bummer. I, I, it should have been a disadvantage. We'll just retcon and say that whatever card I drew would have been the worst of the two cards I drew. All right. Uh, Muddle doesn't attack. Miles is also muddled. Doesn't matter because he does not attack. He just uh, converts. But that's the hounds. Oh, we got lucky with the hounds that turn. That is really, really good. Okay. Uh, nine. And then 18. Okay, so you are going invisible. Um, you are going to recover two of your discarded cards. Um, your moon of poison and wound. Um, during your movement, add jump to the movement. So he's moving to, I don't need to add jump. Um, I do want to. So, um, we're going to go one, two, and you loot every hex you pass through. Um, And then I'm going to attack two and add X where X is double the shield value of the target. Shield value is two, so double four. So this is attack six. Gives me two XP. Attack six. All right. Plus one is seven. Shield 2 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10, which is more than 9. He is dead. Oh, finally. Okay. That's good. All right. Next is um, Furwick, the uh, Tinkerer. Um... So, heal four, range three. So, Miles is in range, so heal four. Miles goes from four back up to eight. And then attack five at range two. I did not... Oh! There is something at range two. Uh, attack five is probably overkill because he only needs one death. Um, oh, during your movement, add two to a single movement. Unfortunately, I can't do just a two move because there's no move on that card. I can only add two to an existing move. Oh, I'm not within range. Is it worth that card going lost? Well, it's going to be a while before I get it back. Um, or just do a basic move. 
I think I'm just going to do a basic move because it's overkill. Because this guard is going to kill that guy even with muddle, fingers crossed. So I'm just doing a basic move with that card. Um, I am going to heal your potion, so heal three self. Get back up to ten. All right, Tinkerer. Okay, uh, Reginald's going late. Next is Archer. That Archer stunned Elite Archer. Move plus your attack minus one, range plus one immobilize. Now he's going to immobilize Furric, um, the uh, Tinkerer. Um, because he's closest, he is within range. Attack minus one. He's an elite, so attack three. Plus zero is three. Just counteracting that healing potion we just took, but immobilize. All right. Guard, move plus one, attack minus one. That guard does not move. He's going to attack the regular hound, our ally, at minus one. So he's attacking at two, and he's muddled. Two minus two is zero. Dang it. Oh, for the muddle. And he takes one from the retaliate. Stupid retaliate. But he's no longer muddled. All right, off by one. That's stupid attack minus one. All right. Uh, okay, so that guy's still alive. Um, Seems we're going to get an elite hound showing up. We have got to get this thing over. All right, that's the guard. Uh, Miles converts our archer. And then um, that's it. And we go to the brute. Move four, one, two, three, four, and then uh, attack four and get an XP. So attack four, oh, give me a two X. Plus one is five. Um, City Archer has shield one, so it's just four. This Archer forgot to take his turn. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep the same damage, so four, but he would have, no, 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 he doesn't get the four damage. I'm going to keep this card out here as a penalty because the only guy he can shoot is, um, the scoundrel is invisible, so he shoots the brute and immobilizes him. Dang it. Because he is in range, range plus one, so one, two, three, that's range. Brute's immobilized. Uh, shooting, attack minus one, so attacking for two. Plus zero is just two. All right, now, what are we going to do? Since we're immobilized, we can't move. We can loot one. That's about it. All right, so we loot one, get rid of immobilize. That is truly annoying. All right, end of round six, we get an elite hound. Okay, he's going to convert that archer this turn. So the hounds will go after them. Reshuffle the archer seems to be the only deck I need to shuffle yet again. All right, let's go back to the overhead shot. So 
see how that looks. All right. Um, boy, 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 boy. Miles isn't muddled. I got two turns left with the scoundrel. I'm doing fine with the tinkerer. I've got mm, three, maybe four turns left with the brute. I might actually be okay if I can keep Miles alive this turn. Because the archer, that archer will be on our side. Deal with that archer. If I can get Miles over to him, um, then it's just running out the clock. I got to kill this archer down here. And he has taken no damage. All right. Needs to move. Those are both. Oh, move three, attack one. Move three, attack three. Jump. Can I push? Attack three at range. Plus one to all your attacks. All right. One, two, three. So that'd be attack four. be attack three so yeah we're just gonna have to do it hope we get lucky this is a scoundrel last two cards so we have to do it anyway um quattro tinkerer furwick what are you doing can you heal at all this turn Yeah. Yeah, try and keep him alive as long as he can. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, Tinker is not immobilized because he had his turn. Um, no, he is immobilized because he had his turn before the archers. So if you're going to be immobilized, what are you going to do? Oh, you're so out of position. We'll do that. And that. No. We're going to do that.
six, shield two. Since we're immobilized, there we go. Okay. All right, uh, Archer, 29. Again, see that card a ton. Guard gets your reshuffle. And Hound gets your reshuffle. 19, 15, 16, 20, and 17. So 15 goes first. Guard, shield one, attack plus zero, poison. So we're going to attack the Hound that needs to die. Plus one, it is dead. Regular Hound dead, and so therefore does not retaliate. Okay. And it has shield one. Good. Um, 15, 16. Um, Invisible to the end of the next show, still invisible. So we're going to move three, move two to there. Um, attack three. So attack three, plus one is four, minus one is three, so three damage on number, archer number five. And then we're going to move three with jump. One, two, three. And no longer invisible. Okay. All right. Um, that was sixteen, so seventeen. Heal three, range three. So up to eleven. And shield one, so he has shield one for the rest of this turn. 17, 19, the hounds. Move zero, attack zero, add two if the target is adjacent to any of the hounds' allies. Oh dear. All right, which is gonna be most, but not all. So hound number four is attacking Miles and is adjacent to an ally of the Hound um, because he has not been converted yet. Oh, unfortunate timing. So attack six. Oh, I need a miracle, need a, need a miss, need a miss. Plus one is seven. He is down to four health. All right, elite number two pops out here and attacks the guard, um, adds two. So he attacks six, minus one is five, shield one is four, but that's still enough to kill our ally, the city guard, which is unfortunate. The question is, does he drop a coin or not? I think he still does, but we'll see. All right. And then our regular hound. Move plus zero. Comes over to attack Miles, because Miles is closer by one. And adds two, so he's attacking four. We need, oh, we need a minus one. We really need a minus one here. Or a miss. 
It's a miss. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Oh, live for another day. Oh, better win this thing at this point. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be possible, though. I need to send all the hounds after the tinkerer to keep them away from Miles. Okay, so we we got lucky on the miss there, of course. All right, let's see what happens next. That's the hounds. Next is our brute, Reginald. Plus one to all attacks this round. Attack three, range three. Um, plus next P. So, attack four. I need something good. Something real, real good. Plus one is five. Minus one is four, but he's a regular, only needed six. He is dead. All right. Was he there or there? I think he was there. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, last to go. Well, Archer and then Miles. Archer. Elite Archer shoots at Tinker and immobilizes him again. Um, attack minus one, so he attacks for three. Plus one is four. Down to three. All right, and then regular archer is stunned. Good, good, good. Miles goes. We have a new ally. Miles is not stunned. Okay. Okay. Miles cannot get to the elite archer in one turn. I forgot to move this. I already did the end of round six because we added that elite. So now it's the end of round seven. At the end of round seven, one elite at B and one normal at C. Elite at B and normal at C. Elite at B, normal at C. So maybe sending Miles into the den of hounds was not a good idea. All right. Um, for the scoundrel to get his battle goal, he would have to long rest. The Brute is going to can he get up to attack at range 3 if he gets a move 4 1, 2, 3, 4 range 1, 2, 3 no I kind of want the scoundrel to long rest so that he can get his boots back and jump over and get this treasure because nobody, neither of these two guys have jump left. And so they'd get stunned by the trap and take a whole bunch of damage. So the scoundrel is going to long rest and he'll get some health back. If the brute long rests, he gets his boots back, but I don't think I'm out of position. I think Miles is going to die because I've said that before. If we get lucky 
and Miles can move and these hounds all just beat up on our new ally. The archer may still take him. Tinker is immobilized. Oh, Tinker had shield one though. So he gets one back from that arrow. All right, well, Tinker's turn is obvious. I have to shuffle all my decks while I think about what to do with the Brute. That Immobilize just killed me. Two Mobilizes in a row by the Archer. Just killed me. Just killed me. All right. Who do we still have watching? We've got 271 viewers. Awesome. Welcome everyone. Hope you're enjoying the stream as we play some Gloomhaven here and unless we get really, really lucky, this is the last round. All right. That's the problem with the bar stools is when things fall on the floor, I can't just reach down and grab them. Okay. Oh, what to do, what to do. So scoundrel, if we live another turn, scoundrel can get the chest. I have no way to get the chest this turn because it's blocked by stun traps. I would at least like to get the chest to see what's in there. But that's a huge if, because Miles is in a world of hurt over there. He needs to go before the hounds do, which is not very likely. There's one card that'll do it. There's another card where they don't attack. They just muddle. That would be awesome. So I either need the card where they move after Miles or I need the card where they don't attack and just muddle. Let's see if we're living right. All right, and for us to be living right, if we get through this round, um, the Brute just needs to get on up there. Um, Tinker, you're not getting your battle goal. Maximum hit point. Jetic, the scoundrel, you have a chance at it. Of course, if we lose the scenario, it doesn't matter if you get battle goals or not. All right, so short resting for the Brute. You just need to get you up there into the action. There's not time to get you your boots, I don't think. All right, I took out our ranged attack, but at least we do have all of our moves. Well, I only have one move four. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Archer, move plus one attack, minus one, guard, and it all comes down to this. Our hounds. Move plus zero, attack plus zero. Okay, this is going to be it. Oh, I should not have looked at that. I needed to do 
Um, one, two, three, four. One, two. If I had, because I have another move two. One, two, three, four, one. I can go attack the hound. But I need to get up there. All right, we're going to do this. 34. Okay. It's not going to matter. We're going to die on 26. Archers. That archer is our friend. However, he still, he's an ally, he still follows the movement rules. So he's going to attack uh, any of the elite. Actually, he attacks the elite with lowest initiative, which is elite number four, because um, he's closer than elite number two. So attack minus one, so attack two. Minus one is one, so one damage on hound number four. All right, well, that was our ally. I actually should have done the elite archer first, but he's obvious. He attacks. The tinkerer is closest. Um, attack for three. Minus two is one. Only one on the tinkerer. That's actually a small blessing. Next is the hound. So uh, move plus zero, attack plus zero. So the closest where... Elite number two can get to an enemy is one, two, three, four to right here. Actually, no, he can get right here. One, two. And he attacks with the lowest initiative, which is the guard. The guard goes before Miles. So attack um, four on our friendly archer. Attack four. Zero is just four. Um, the archer has shield one, so it's three damage. One, two, three on our ally. And um, then elite number four does not have to move, and he attacks Miles. Attack four. Minus one is three. Miles has one hit point left. There's no way for me to... I can't do anything to reduce damage on Miles. Oh my goodness. Miles has shield one, ladies and gentlemen. Miles has shield one. And I have been forgetting that a lot. I don't know how much I've been forgetting it. I'm going to say three. So I'm going to put him back up to six. All right. It may not matter. Uh, elite six attacked for four. Plus one is five. Minus one is four. So he has two regular 2x. Yeah, it, it wouldn't have mattered because that would be uh, four damage. Minus one is three. He has two. I think it's over. It, it's, I think Miles is dead. I can't remember how many times I've forgotten the shield one on Miles. Let's pretend. I think we lost it. Or like it was enough. And play this out really quick. He has one hit point left. Okay. So then, um, J 
juggernaut, move four, move two. So move one, two, three, four, one, two. Has nobody to attack. Over here, um, immobilize, so you can't move, but attack six, range five, two XP. So attack six on the, uh, I think the elite archer, eight with shield two, or hound. There's too many hounds. Let's try and take this guy down because we win if he dies. Um, all right, so a 2x could do it. Attack 6. Plus 0 is just 6. Um, shield 2, so it's 4. 4 damage on Elite Archer number 3. That goes lost, can't move. All right, that's everybody. Um, end of round seven. Is another elite at B and a regular at C, but we don't, you can't do a regular at C. No, no, Miles did not get his turn. Miles does move three to get over here. One, two, three. All right. Um, can I keep Miles alive at one point? Uh, scoundrel. Heals two. And... Loses this card, his last turn, but he will get to the chest. Um, no, he's keeping this one, losing this one, so he can go early. See what that chest is. Um, this is what I've got for that, and Tinkerer, short rest. Lose that one. Ooh, that's the heal. I can't afford to lose the heal. So I'm going to keep that one and lose a different one. Hopefully I don't lose my other heal. Oh, it was my better heal. I should have, should have kept... Should have lost this one. All right. All right. Um, attack five range two. Okay. So actually, I just want to kill this archer. If I kill this archer, we win. Oh, okay. Kill three range three. One, two, three. I can't do that. I need to move. Um, move three and attack three wounds. Yep. Move two. Okay, we'll do this. And we're doing this. Okay. And we're shuffling this. And we're going to see if we win here. I'll have to go back and review the tape to calculate Miles' health to see if we actually would have done this. Um, and as soon as that archer is dead, we win. Hopefully it's before the hounds go or we get another reprieve from the hounds. 
Oh, the tension. The tension. Okay. Archer. 68. Guard. 35. Hound. 19. Oh, and it's the brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Okay. First 16. Move 3, adding jump. 1, 2, 3. I get the treasure. What is the treasure? The treasure is Tower Shield, item 32. So, uh, let's see. Item 32. Tower Shield. When damaged by an attack, gain Shield 2 for the attack. Oh, that's nice. That'll be good for a scoundrel to have. All right. Um, and then not doing anything with the rest of it. That's 16. 17. Heal 3, range 3, or move 2, heal 1, effect all adjacent, and then attack 3 with wound. The hounds are going to move four and five before he gets to go. I'm going to put the tinker over here so that he will be the target as much as possible. And then I can still flamethrower the. Uh, I can still flamethrower the city archer. Creating fire, two damage or two XP. Sorry. Attack three, most importantly, with wound. So attack three, plus one is four. Shield two. So two damage. We are at six. Okay. Um, oh, heal two. Actually, I could move one more with my boots, and then I can heal my ally here by one. Not that it really matters. One damage or one health versus two health is not that big a difference. Oh, but that's even more important because then it only puts one space for a dog to attack right there. Good, good, good. So I used my boots to do that. To heal one, effect all adjacent allies. Okay. That's there. That went lost. Um... Hounds, 19, before the Wall of Doom at 20. Okay, let's do these hounds. The lowest elite is number two, which is right next to our ally right here. Uh, not going to move. He's going to attack plus zero, add two if it's adjacent to a hound's ally, which it is not. So it is just attack four. One last shuffle here because this is so important. Minus two is two. He has shield one, so it's only one damage on our ally. Nice. I like it, I like it, I like it. So four damage on our ally. Okay, that was elite number two. Next is elite number four. Move. One space. Attack. This time he is next to, so it's four plus two, so he's attacking for six. Misses. Amazing. All right. That is huge, because now I have a wall. Now I have a wall. All right. 
Next is elite number five. He could get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. So it's either, oh, it's actually here because it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So coming around, um, but he can only move, move plus zero, so he's moving five. One, two, three, four, five because he can't get through our ally right there. Nice, nice, nice. And we got a miss and a, and a down. Elite number six can move five. One, two, three, four, five. He can get there. Attacking Ferric for six because he is not next to any of the Hound's allies. Six, two X is 12. Holy cow, I don't think that's going to happen. So, um, we're going to discard a card out of our hand. Uh, it doesn't matter, because I've got one in the discard, one in my hand. Um, so, it doesn't matter. Because I don't have enough to play. He's going to go down... Uh, next turn because he doesn't have two cards to do a long rest all right um but he at least block everybody for this turn okay and then the regular can get he moves four one two three four because now he wants to get here one two three four five one two three four five we're going to make him go this way. One, two, three, four, five. It's equidistant either way, and I don't want to get blocked. All right, that's all the hounds. Oh, no, it's this hound over here. Um, he didn't take a turn last turn. What should he have done last turn? He should have moved four. One, two, three, four. And then now should move four again. One, two. This guy is protected because he sees those as obstacles for the moment. So he has to go here. One, two, three, four. Um, okay. That's all the hounds. Now, the Wall of Doom. Um... Move to the archer is not moving. The archer will die on a retaliate, too. So I'm going to get up in his face with Wall of Doom. That's just a regular move. That's 2 XP. The archer won't move, so he won't back out of range. He will shoot the brute straight in the face, but the brute will retaliate too, which goes straight through the shield and will kill the elite archer. Yes. All right. Uh, our guard is dead. We don't have any guards. Archers. Elite Archer, attack plus one at disadvantage, minus one, plus one, so it's minus one, so it's straight up attack, so that's uh, four damage, pierce two takes care of the two shields, so four damage, but the retaliate kills the Archer. Two damage on the archer. Which means all enemies are either killed or converted. We actually have one ally left alive on the board. All right. We did it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um...
in the chat flamethrower doesn't reach from that hex did I flamethrower? I did flamethrower didn't I? Um, you're right he would have had to been here to reach this archer so I think I could retcon that back to not move him so far over. The healing didn't matter to have the flame floor reach the archer. I just didn't have to move him that far over. Thank you, Fenton Crackshell. Thank you for for uh, catching that. Again, I may I may make mistakes, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna call this a win with an asterisk, uh, especially since I wasn't giving Miles his shield all along. Um, and who knows, we'll have to go back and review the tapes to see if he had enough health or not, but I'm going to call that a win. At least enough to move the, uh, the story forward. I don't necessarily want to play this one again, although maybe I do better next time. Conclusion, many of the guards lie wounded on the ground, but enough are left standing to administer first aid to the rest and to the wounded Valrath as well. You are confident that with Miles in your corner, all of them will be convinced towards your cause eventually. You set about using the resources available to barricade the entrances of the barracks, making sure that no more murderous creatures can interrupt you while you rest and formulate a plan for what to do next. Reward, five experience each for each ally, city, guard, or archer left on the map. Well, that's one of them, so five XP. Make a note of the number of ally city guards and archers left. Well, we converted two. Our guard went down. Our archer is still here. All right. And I think we go to the vote to, to, to record how many we converted or were left. We did not do well. We only got one or two. Uh, but, uh, you know, that is what it is. I think that was successful. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm going to call this good for now. I will be back um, next Monday for sure. I might pop up uh, during the week sometime to test out, uh, and I'm not sure yet whether it's going to be the next episode of this uh, in Gloomhaven, um, or I may throw another game in the mix. Uh, Mage Knight, Magic Realm, um, Terraforming Mars Solo Play, uh, a bunch of different options that I have uh, to try out. So uh, be sure and follow me on Twitch if you want to be notified when uh, the next time I pop up is. Um, could be sometime this week, but for sure I'll be back next Monday at 6 p.m. Thanks, everyone. And uh, there is a geek list over on Board Game Geek. I'll throw that into the chat here. Um, if you want to subscribe and see the episodes, uh, past episodes are over on YouTube. Uh, and they're linked over on uh, Geek List on Board Game Geek. Uh, let me go grab that, actually. Uh, okay, throw this link in here real quick. I should have prepared this ahead of time. Sorry, folks. I'm still new at this. Um, still learning a lot. And that, and that copy link address and throwing into the chat here uh there we go okay there's the geek list for my episodes thanks everybody uh we'll see you next week if not before bye